Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mike from Petsitters Island. And the question I want to try and answer today is what happens at a meet and greet? So the meet and greet is probably one of the most important parts of the whole process of using a pet sitter and dog walking company like Petsitters Island. Uh, we, we put a lot of value in it. Um, it's really an opportunity for us to come and meet you, meet your pets, understand your pet care routine, and really help build confidence in our service about turning up on time, following instructions exactly without judgment and let you know your pets are safe, your home secure, because that's what we do, right? But the meet and greet is the first part of that process. It, it takes place before you go away. And it's really, it takes place about a week in advance. And that way, if you don't like the person that we send, we've got enough time to send someone else. So, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a schedule for you. And at the front end of that schedule, about a week ahead of your departure date, we're gonna have a meet and greet. And it's completely free and without any obligation towards you from the service. Okay, so we're gonna send someone around to meet you, meet your pets, and then ask probing questions around the details of your pet care routine. So for example, you know, does your pet have wet or dry food? Uh, maybe it's a combination of both. Well, we really wanna understand is if it's wet food, you know, and are you using a tin or a pouch or a sachet? You know, that's okay, we can feed them. You know, but then what happens to that empty tin or pouch? Where does it go? What do you do with it? How do you dispose of it? Do you put it in the recycling? Do you rinse it out first before putting it in the recycling or do you just chuck it in the bin? Or, and what happens to that bin? Is it the bin inside? Is it the bin outside? You know, what kind of level of detail do you want to give us? We really want to know exactly what you're doing, how you do it. But of course, really the meet and greet is really about us finding out all the information that we need to know and building your confidence so that when we leave that meet and greet, that you're not thinking, oh, I forgot to tell them this, I forgot to tell them that. If we come to your house and we're guessing what to do, we haven't done our job properly at the meet and greet. So the meet and greet is critical to the whole process. Um, you know, for example, you know, if you're like me and maybe you're a multiple pet owner, you've got dogs and cats, you know, we have a very, very specific routine when it comes to feeding. Like Coco, she gets her food first over here. Joey gets his food over there and then Patch gets her food over here, but you have to stand with Patch to make sure she eats it and the others don't try and steal it, right? So, you know, we have particular instructions, you might too. Our job is to, is to learn about that, to understand what they are, so that when you go, you're confident that we're doing exactly those things. So, what happens at a meet and greet? We dot the I's and we cross the T's. You know, we learn all everything that we need to know, we start to build a rapport um, from the point of view of the person that, that you're working with directly, the pet sitter or the dog walker that you're working with. And, you know, it's important to remember that that pet sitter or dog walker is not doing you a favor. They're working for you. They're providing a service to you. Their job is to understand what to do exactly without judging what you do and how you do it. And then let you know your pets are safe, your home secure. They're not your best friend. They're, you know, they're not your neighbor. You know, their job is to is to follow your instructions exactly and the meet and greet is about learning those what those what those tasks or details are